everybody and welcome back to my channel or hello to you if you're new um today i'm took up residence by the radiator because it is raining a torrent outside i mean seriously it is pelting it down and i'm feeling a bit chilly so i thought i'd come sit by the radiator to warm myself up so Today I thought I would show you all the bits that I picked up from Home Bargains um, when I went the other day. If you haven't seen that video, do go and check it out. It's like two videos ago or something. So yeah, so I did pick up a few bits when I was in there. I didn't go too crazy, but I do love what I got. So first things first, I picked up some boudoir cushions. <laughs> Um, I've been looking for some round cushions for the longest time um, because I've been harping on for forever about redoing our bedroom and I wanted, you know the like, people's beds that look really nice with like scatter cushions all nicely displayed? Well I wanted to do that but I needed some like front like feature cushions I suppose um, and I got my heart set on some round ones after I'd seen some really nice ones in was it Matalan um, so yes yeah, so I went into home bargains and saw these bad boys and made a beeline for them because they're exactly what I want I think they were about $8.99 but I have a feeling they were actually reduced when I got to the till um, but they're really nice they're kind of um, like crushed velvet they're really soft and they've got this lovely like diamante um, like button in the middle. I've noticed I say like an awful lot in these videos, so I apologise for that. Don't know why I do it, but I don't notice till I'm editing, and then I'm like, take a shot every time Tabby says like because it's really annoying. So I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, these are just really nice. So I've got the two, and I plan to put some lovely big cushions onto the. Um, like you have your cushions, then you have your big square cushions, and then I intend to put round cushions. Do you think I need any more cushions? I think some people have like three lots of like decorative cushions but I'm just going for two because I've got nowhere to store them so yeah please just punch with these. Let's go with food. So I picked up a bag of Walker's mix-ups. These are just for my husband uh, but he's not here at the moment so if I eat them then I, I'm not even going to apologise. <laughs> feeling a bit peckish. Um, I also got him a big bag of rain drip, rainbow drops. Uh, these are like his most favourite thing. Um, they're just like little rice sweets, aren't they? But they are so Moorish. Um, loved by all since 1928, it says on the back. But yeah, so rainbow drops are a big favourite in our house. We don't let Dolph have them yet because I've, I've read like a scare story about popcorn and I kind of feel like these are a bit similar. Um, so we won't give him these till we're older, but Mr. Sal can sit and enjoy rainbow drops to his heart content in front of a good Coronation Street session. <laughs> Didn't they have some amazing Easter stuff? Like that Easter oil was on fire. So I picked a few select bits. So first things first, I got Dolph a little carrot basket. Oh, I'm gonna put on an Easter egg hunt for him this year. Um, I've got a little pack of Easter eggs and stuff from Aldi. It does say zero to three with like a sad face like crossed out, but I think as long as I keep an eye on him, he'll be absolutely fine. Um, and I could just see him carrying this round, putting his little eggs in. I can't wait. <laughs> Uh, this was super cheap. It was, I think, like $1.99, maybe cheaper. I really should keep the receipts so that I know all the price of this stuff, but it was super cheap, but it was just so cute. Next, I got a, a chick, but it's it's like a wind-up jobby, and I thought Dolph would just love this. Come on. Come on. Oh! Yeah, it's meant, it's meant to jump, but it's not doing much jumping. a bit underwhelming isn't it? Uh, maybe we need to take the packaging off to get him to like bounce better. It might because his feet need to work better or something. Let's have a go. Right let's try again. Well no wonder this is only 69p. It doesn't work. Oh well. <laughs> I thought it would be a bit of fun for Dolph but um I'm sure we can fix it. But he's very soft and super duper cute and he was so cheap and, get that, <laughs> so cheap. <laughs> oh God, Tammy, don't ever do that again. So I just thought he would be really cute for Dolph to have as like a little something just to bring a 
touch of Easter into the house. Oh my gosh, they've got some lovely wooden bits and I picked up this absolutely gorgeous Happy Easter plaque. I believe this was like 1.99, which I thought was a real bargain because it's quite like robust. Um, yeah, it just says Happy Easter, you can focus. And it's got all these like lovely little bunnies and eggs all around. Um, Sal thinks wreaths are only for Christmas. And I saw an absolutely beautiful wreath in Matalan, but it was a resounding no, Tabby. Wreaths are for Christmas, not for Easter, you can't have one. So I thought I'd get this instead. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just thought this was really sweet, super cheap for what it is, lovely quality as far as I can see, and um, yeah, again, please just punch with that. Following on with the wooden theme, I also picked up the wooden bunting. It says it's 1.7 metres, and it says like, Happy Easter, in like, mini little flags. Let's get it out to have a look, shall we? We need to be able to judge the quality. Um, oh, it's got a little bunny with a little fluffy tail. Oh no, it's not a fluffy tail, just a circle tail. But yeah, I thought that was lovely. What I'm intending to do is put on a little Easter hunt for my little boy and a few of his little friends. So I just thought it'd be nice. Um, I'll probably put on a little buffet, you know, like um, little sausages and things. So I just thought it'd be really nice to do up our dining room with a few Easter bits, just to kind of set the scene, set the atmosphere. And I just thought this would be great for that. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And again, I think this was like 1 99 so it was super cheap. And the great thing is, it's like you can reuse it. You don't have have to just like chuck it in the bin or whatever afterwards um yeah you can keep using it for like years and years so you're really going to get your money's worth and it's good for the environment so yeah i really rate that i got some easter stickers i was really deliberated because they got a pack of the most beautiful like foam stickers and i thought for a toddler those would probably actually be better because you're just going to make like some random pictures where all the stickers get stuck on top of each other but actually these I thought were a better kind of um, array, I suppose, of subject matter, if we're gonna be technical. Um, they just got some little Easter bunting things. This light is terrible, let's turn that off for a minute. Um, hello, is there anybody there? You can tell how rainy and dark it is when I turn that light off. Um, yeah, so there was like an array of different animals and little bunting and these are like almost um like fabric i suppose um so yeah i just thought those were really cute and lovely for maybe like decorating a card i thought my what i might do is like get him to make some little cards for his little friends um just to say happy easter to them and maybe give them like a little token um chocolate or something but yeah those are really cute and i think they were like 69p or 99p this easter bonnet 49p, 69p, really, really cheap. But I have a feeling that nursery are gonna like send out one of those emails like a day before it's due saying, oh, could you, you know, make your own Easter bonnet and send him in with it? And I'll be like, I've got nothing in the house. Um, so I bought him a bonnet. It says it's a boy's bonnet, but obviously you could use these for boys or girls. They've got some really lovely frilly jobbies in as well, which you could also use for boys and girls, but if your little girls aren't into like really frilly numbers, then this is pretty doody. It's like a um, bit like a cowboy hat, I suppose. What do they call them? Like, oh, I'm not good at my hats. Stetson? No, it's not Stetson, is it? Cowboy hat. <laughs> and then I got him this bonnet. Bonnet craft kit and in there is bunnies and what's that one it's like an Easter egg they're all made of felt bunnies Easter egg some um, ladybirds and flowers some bigger bunnies and some big chicks and these would be great I suppose to decorate like anything you like for Easter a table a hat like I'm gonna use them for his bonnet but you could use them on maybe even cakes or something like that I know there's some super crafty people subscribe to this channel you amaze me my craft skills are um, so if I could put these together I'll be winning <laughs> the next thing I got was these six decorative like sticks or picks um, 
These are brilliant. You can poke these into literally anything. Cakes, flower arrangements, um, anywhere. Anywhere you can poke a stick, you can poke a stick. Um, these are lovely little glittery bunnies with googly eyes. And I think these were 99p. The only thing I would say about these is I've seen the same sort of thing in the pound shop and the ones in the pound shop were so much better. Like these, a few of these bunnies I noticed have got like folding patches. Um, if you can see, but the glitter in the paint hasn't completely covered them. So they do look like they're shedding their hair a little bit, whereas the ones in Poundland were a lot better painted, a lot more covered in glitter, um, and just generally better quality. Um, a few of these, like this one's lost his eye. This one's lost his eye, and I don't know if you can see why I'm holding this. Can you see this? There's like literally glitter going everywhere. So maybe this wasn't the best idea. Um, but basically my idea for this was I just thought if I were going to do an Easter hunt, if it's nice weather, which I doubt, but if it is, um, maybe I could like poke these in around the garden to like give clues about where the Easter eggs might be hidden. So that was my thinking. We'll see if it works or not. That's a bit lethal, isn't it, that one? So my recommendation is if you want a pack of bunnies on a stick, get them from Powerland because they look a lot better. I just got this pack of little wooden ladybirds. Dolph is like huge on ladybirds at the moment. We have, um, oh gosh, what's it called? Like Busy Farm, I think it's called. And on every page, because it's a ladybird book, on every page they hide a ladybird. And his favorite thing is just to find the ladybird on every page. So I thought, since he's so into ladybirds at the moment, I've just picked these up. Again, I can use them to decorate his Easter bonnet, maybe do some Easter crafts with him, or maybe like if you've got like a bit of a doll piece of furniture that needs sprucing up, you could decorate it with a few like ladybirds like walking around trailing after each other or something like that. But uh, these were 99p and yeah. <laughs> Random, I know, but you know, this is what happens when you go into home bargains. You come out with loads of random, random stuff that you think you need, but probably don't. Oh, you, yeah, yes, you could tell me off of these. I picked a pack of the nails. <laughs> I may do a video showing you my collection of false nails because it is insane um, and I think I might give some of them away and stuff because it's such a shame because I have some absolutely beautiful ones that have been sat in a drawer for like forever um, so we'll have a think about that but these ones are so pretty they were such a lovely kind of blue metallic glittery like chroming is, is that the right word like chrome flip color type thing I just couldn't resist and they got such nice like holographic star packaging and they were only 99p and I was like, oh, they fell in my bag. So the next thing I picked up was this moldable foam soap. I used to have this when I was a kid and I absolutely loved it. Come on, focus. <laughs> uh, it's blue raspberry flavor. It smells lovely, but when I got it home, I read the back, always read the label, and it does say not suitable for children under 36 months. So this is a no-go for us. So guess who's getting to have a bath with the foam soap? It's gonna be me and it's gonna be Sal. So yeah, I can sit in the bath and like mold myself some icebergs and stuff. Picked up the Balance Active Formula Gold Collagen Hydrogel Lip Mask rejuvenate and plump with colloid gold and marine collagen for fuller looking lips moisturize and smooth because it's winter i am suffering with the worst like chap lips every time i try and put lipstick on like like today <laughs> it just looks so like bitty and like flaky and stuff um that I thought maybe this was worth a go. I've been feeling like really run down, like our whole house has been so poorly for ages. And I thought I'd try and pick up a few bits just to like pep myself up again a little bit. So I thought I'd try these and give them a go. Um, if you'd like to hear what I think of the results, then I will be more than happy to share that with you. But yeah, there's two masks in here, 99p. Just thought I'd give it a try. I did get a couple of bath bombs. Like I, I've never, I got bought a Lush bath bomb once, but I've never really had. I love Lush, I love Lush. But my husband is so like paranoid that they're gonna like stain the bath that he's just not overly keen on me using them. 
but I do sneak in bath bombs when he's not here. But don't tell him. <laughs> but I thought I'd pick these couple up from Home Bargains. This one's strawberry and this one's mango. And I just don't think anything like beats a chill session in the bath with some nice like products, something that smells lovely, maybe a face mask on. <sighs> but you know, as a mom, when does that really ever happen? Like never. <laughs> And if it does, you end up with company. So, I thought I'd pick them up anyway because they're super duper cheap. I think a Lush Bath Bomb is probably, like, what, like four ninety five or something? Um, and these were like 99p. So I just thought I'd get a couple just so that I've got them if I ever get five minutes of time. Then along with those other things, I picked up my collagen, my anti-aging collagen woven face mask with aloe vera. Helps to improve your skin's smoothness, elasticity, elasticity, how do you say that? Elasticity, moisture balance, and the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Um, suitable for all skin types, and you keep it on for 15 to 20 minutes. So I thought I'd give it a try, because as I'm getting older, I am noticing quite a few fine lines and wrinkles, let's be honest, coming. So I'm hoping this is gonna perform some miracles on me, and um, yeah, get rid of my deep, Frown and furrows from like somebody wrote on my <laughs> somebody commented on one of my videos like why do you pull such stupid faces and I was like it's just my face <laughs> a candle this is the pink rhubarb and pear oh my gosh this smells absolutely amazing it does smell like rhubarb and custard sweets I'm actually really gutted that we only burn these in the fire because the scent of this is just Phenomenal and I don't think I will ever buy a candle from anywhere else again. Home Bargains have the most amazing array of candles that I think I've ever seen. Burns up to 95 hours and this was 2 dollars or 3 dollars in comparison with Yankee candles that just like take a mortgage out type price level. <laughs> but yeah, I mean if you if you're going to burn a candle in your room, then Yankee candle like you just can't beat the fragrance if you're just gonna burn it kind of at random points it's not a special occasion or anything like that then I think this is perfectly you know acceptable and it's a lovely big candle nice and heavy really good value for money what is not to like rather uninteresting I picked up this pencil case I thought this is a great kind of pencil case for toddlers because it's so big and because the opening is so big it makes it really easy for them to get their hands in and out to like get their crayons or pencils or whatever you trust them with um, to put in there so Dolph's got some of those like twistable crayons I've got them a huge pack for um, Christmas so there we go I've just popped all his twistable crayons in there and it just means that he can really get his hand in and look through the colours and pull them out whereas a little pencil case I think would be like much harder for him to actually like access the crayons and stuff so yeah super duper pleased with that and i think it was like 29p um and then last but not least i picked up this weight loss tracker now if you are a subscriber here and you cast your mind back 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 uh, to my goals video i said i am going to try and lose weight this year just to be a bit healthier be able to feel like I can run round after Dolph a little bit more because he's two, he's definitely on the move. But I want to be able to like chase round after him, they're getting like two out of breath. Um, I don't want to be like, <gasps> <gasps> like, I just don't want that to happen. Whereas that's what I feel like at the moment because I have a really, really sedentary job and I don't get to like go out and do much exercise and stuff. So carrying a bit of extra weight, I really, really notice the difference. So it's not for like how I look or anything. It's just really for like my health because um, I have really noticed like myself struggling a little bit. And the older I get, the more harder it is to try and like shift extra pounds and all that sort of stuff. So, considering we're now in like March and I've still not managed to do much about it, uh, I did think that I would pick up this weight loss tracker from Home Bargains. It says it includes two A4 sticker sheets to track your progress. Um, so yeah, I don't quite know how it works. Let's get it out. Oh, okay. So actually there's probably, if you could get yourself a sheet of paper, um, print out something similar and get yourself a pack of stickers you've got pretty much the same thing but I guess 
I think this was like a pound or 150 or it was no more than like two pounds. So I suppose from that perspective, it would probably end up costing about the same by the time you've taken in your ink costs and time and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so it's just weight loss tracker, start weight, goal weight, pounds loss. You get these pretty heart stickers in here so that every time you lose a pound, you can stick it on here. I hope the stickers are removable because what happens if you stick the weight back on again? Do you have to put like a massive big cross through it? Um, no, they're not removable, so once you've lost it, you're keeping it off for good. You're not to put it back on again because otherwise you'll ruin your complete sticker sheet. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was <laughs> just a cute idea and I just wanted to just, like get it so I could see what it's all about. But yeah, that's quite sweet. So I quite like that. So that's everything I got from Home Bargains when I was there. I hope you enjoyed the Come Shopping With Me video as well. If you want me to do another one, I'd love to do another one. I like finding different shops to go around and all that stuff. Oh, it's the dog. I wondered what the hell that was. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all the bits that I picked up from Home Bargains. I am so super excited for Easter this year. I think it's quickly becoming possibly my favorite holiday. Like, I love Christmas, absolutely love Christmas, but there's just something about Easter and like a little hint of summer maybe, like on the horizon, weather warming up, like new life and like all the spring colors, like pastel colors and all that sort of stuff that just, I don't know, it gives me some kind of feels. Um, so I'm super duper excited for Easter and for Dolph to like have a go at an Easter egg hunt and Oh, Easter crafts and all this kind of stuff. I'm just so excited for all of it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I got. If you want to see more kind of come shop with me videos and that, do let me know in the comments. Um, let me know if you've been to Home Bargains. I know on my come shop with me video, loads of people were saying that their Home Bargains like didn't have any of this stuff. So I'll be really interested to hear what your Home Bargains is like. And yeah, I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video, which is gonna be a Poundland haul. So if you want to see that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and if you want to be notified about my videos I think there's like a little bell thing that you have to hit as well um, so do make sure you like click all the buttons whatever buttons just click them all and yeah I'll see you in my next video take care guys bye